How are you comfortable? <laughs> are you awake, dude? Good morning. Did you just wake up from a weird look? What were those noises you were making? You were like snoring. What were you up to, dude? You are the cutest thing ever, but what in the world are you doing? Why are you sleeping like this? <laughs> he literally sleeps in the craziest angles ever. What's wrong? You got something in your nose? Like, how is this comfortable? Good morning. Let's get up. Come on. Let's go get some food. I know you want some food. Come on. Come here, buddy. Come on, Coop. Come here. <laughs> Lazy days. How hard is your life right now, guy? Oh, look at this big yawn. Look at that big yawn. How hard is your life? Come on. Let's go get food. Come on. Come here. All right. Well, he's being lazy. He literally re like refuses to get up. So we're going to get some food. And we're going to come to him. You guys are going to help me. Help me feed him today, I guess. Where's our... Uh... Oh, it's right here. Kaya, it was actually really funny. Kaya actually ate my other measuring cup. I used to have a white one. You guys probably saw it in, the, in previous videos, but she ate that one and completely tore it up. So now we have uh, we have a new set. We have some black ones here. So you guys can see we actually we've upgraded him to more food. We were doing one third. Oh, who smells his lunch? It is three o'clock. We woke up a little bit late this morning, and usually I feed him at like seven noon and seven, and uh, and I ended up feeding him about like. Uh, 9 30 or 10 this morning so yeah we're a little bit behind schedule but we'll just kind of roll that over puppies it's all about you want to be uh, super consistent with them so i feel kind of bad that we missed a little bit but it's okay a couple hours doesn't hurt does it buddy no it doesn't but uh yeah so we got him up to two-thirds cups now he was doing one-third cup three times a day now he's doing two-thirds cups three times a day he's just he's a hungry boy man he's on the bag it recommends anywhere from um for his age anywhere from I think it's like three quarters of a cup to three and a half cups. So it's it's like, whoa, that's a big, big, like, you know, range there. But uh, I think we're going to go with uh, with two thirds cups three times a day uh, for a total of two and a half just because he was always so, so, so hungry. And uh, he's such a good boy. He deserves some extra food. Don't you, Coop? You deserve some extra food. All right, so we've been working on down. Now, you guys know we have sit, stay, and come down like crazy. So here we go. Come here, Cooper. Sit, stay. Good boy, come here. Oh, look at him. He is seriously, he's got it. It's honestly crazy. He's just over nine weeks. I guess he's almost 10 weeks now. But I guess actually when you guys are watching this, he'll be 10 weeks. So it's, it's actually, it's like crazy how smart he is that he already knows that stuff but we've got to do better than that so we're going to try to teach him down right here so here we go down is a tough one uh oh just drop some food look at him little vacuum cleaner he's starting to get you guys see like the gold he's starting to get look in between his eyes you guys see that and then on his back there he's starting to get more and more gold which is uh is kind of exciting he's it, it's sad though because like i want him to grow up i want to be him, him to be like this beautiful smart funny like just awesome big dog that i know he's going to be but i also like I'm never going to get him back like this, and that really kind of makes me a little bit sad. But uh, anyway, here we go. All right, so down what you're supposed to do is basically like put the food in front of their face. So they're like, you know, they're obviously trying to get it. And then you like bring it down slowly in between their paws. And, and then once they actually get to lay down, that's when you say down. And then over time, once you don't have food anymore, even when you just like kind of point towards the ground, it should make them go down. So let's see. If he can do it here. Come on, buddy. I believe in you. All right. So he's starting to sit. I'm going to show him the food. Down. Good boy. That's a down right there. So basically, that's how you teach them pretty much everything. Like, it's just trial and error, trial and error, just over and over and over again. I wish I'm a clicker right now. I can't really click to... Um, because I'm holding the phone and stuff like that. But basically what he's been trained is that when he hears this clicking noise, that means he gets a treat. So like, Cooper, you gotta look, bud. I'll get you guys on him. I dropped some food. There you go, he found it. All right, so watch. When he sees this thing, he gets really excited because a click means that he's gonna get food. You guys can see, as soon as he hears that click, he just knows he's gonna get food. So that's what I first taught him. Like if you guys ever wanna like, you know, try to train your puppies and stuff, uh, basically you teach him that that clicker means like, hey, good job, you're gonna get a treat. And then when you're trying to teach him like sit and stay and all kinds of other stuff, 
as soon as they hear the click, that's when they know that they're doing the right thing. So like, if you tell a dog to sit, and he sits, and then you like say like, good boy, and go to give him a treat, if he does something in between then, he's gonna be kind of confused as to what the actual good thing was, but the clicker allows it so that as soon as he does the right thing, like as soon as his butt hit the floor when I was teaching him sit, or as soon as he like lays down when I'm teaching him to lay down and stuff like that, as soon as he does that, I click so he knows, boom, that's what he wants me to do. It, it, there's like no confusion as to what the good thing was, and then even if the treat comes a couple of seconds later, he still realizes that his good thing is the actual action. So that's kind of the idea behind clicker training. I've done uh, quite a bit of you know, research on it on the web and ordered a couple books and stuff like that. So it's, uh, yeah, that's just, that's, that's the basic idea behind it. So if I was trying to teach him sit, I mean, not sit, but down, if I had an extra hand free, what I would do, can we like set this up? I'll try to set you guys up. All right, so what we do is we get our food here, we have our clicker in the other hand, and, uh, and we're gonna go, come on Coop. Ah, oh, see, he didn't get it that time, so he's not gonna get a treat. So, come here, let's back up a little bit. Come over here, good boy, okay? I'm mean, gonna get a couple pieces of food, not too much, all right? Oh, he's close, come on, buddy, you got it. You got it, dude, come on. Down. See, he's pretty close there, and sometimes you kind of have to move with them uh, and baby steps. So like when I was first teaching him down, as soon as he looked down, I would click and give it to him. And then once he started to like inch down, I'll click and give it to him. So he's not gonna be able to get it right away. But uh, yeah, that's just kind of the, the basic idea behind clicker training and stuff. So uh, that's what we're working with with Coop right now. Let's see if we can get him to go down. That's a good boy, down. Good boy, that's what I'm trying to get you to do. And, uh, and that's just kind of the basic premise behind what I've been doing with them because I've seen some of you guys ask like how I'm teaching them to be so smart and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, we're working on down right now. Uh, I was working on spin a little bit. He's, you know, I don't want to do too much at once, but basically with spin, you just kind of go like this. You kind of lead him around with the treat, but you guys can see it's like he's a statue. He doesn't want to move his feet. Come on, buddy. There you go, that's a spin. Good boy, that's a spin. So I wanna teach him spin, where basically you go like that and he'll spin. Um, what else do I wanna do? I wanna teach him uh, like kennel up or like get good in your crate, so he'll go run into his crate without being asked. But uh, that's a little bit more down the line. Like I said, he's only 10 weeks old. Typically dog training doesn't really start until 12 weeks. So he is way ahead of the game because he already has the basics down and he's you know still two and a half weeks younger than what most dogs will start learning at so uh it's pretty insane but so yeah i'm gonna keep working with him as we find more stuff i will let you guys know but i just want to let you guys know know what's going on now this is your super cooper update for the week and uh, and hopefully you guys enjoy it he is the most precious thing in the world i love him so much and uh, and he's just honestly I me mean, look at that little guy he's always so happy He's a good boy. He doesn't even chew his food. Watch this. I'll try to get like an up close for you guys. Here we go. He literally, he just vacuums it down. There's no chewing. It, it's just like, I, I don't know how he does it. Eventually I'm gonna have to teach him how to chew it and I kind of give him smaller handfuls for the time being. But he literally, there's no chewing going down. It just gets sucks right down his throat. He's that freaking, he acts like he's starving all the time and he's not. I give you more than enough food than what you need, bud. But uh, I don't know, he's just a hungry boy. It's actually, it's kind of funny. Like, I think I mentioned to you guys last week, but the trainer actually told me that he's like, she's never seen a dog more food motivated because he's, he's just a little porker. He's my little Cooper man, and I love him so much. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's say bye, Coop. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week for the next Super Cooper update, and uh, I will catch you guys later. Bye.